Man's best friend is getting some help from students at Syracuse University. Just seeing these animals here and what they have to go through, it's, it's very sad. You know, animals that can't speak for themselves, we give them a voice and I think that's very important. Half a dozen students recently toured the Central New York SPCA. Soon, these students who come from a wide range of schools and colleges here at SU will hold a fundraiser to help the animals at the shelter. I love to help. I do. It's just something in my heart that I enjoy helping people and trying to help out and try and make you know, little changes in people's lives. Each of these students shares a passion for doing just that. It's one of the common bonds of the Fan Steel Scholar. The whole point of the, scho the Fan Steel Scholarship was a lot based on um, giving back and community service, which is why I got it in high school to begin with. I was very active in high school with community service. So I think doing stuff in Syracuse, I mean, animals are the easiest thing to give back to because who doesn't love animals? But <laughs> The Fan Steel Scholarship made the SU dream a reality for these <laughs> students. But in exchange, they are asked to do something that for these young adults comes naturally. They give us the scholarship, this opportunity to go to college, and um, they want us to just kind of take that and run with it and use it as kind of a base plate and say, all right, I, I've been given great things, so I should... Uh, carry that through. When you do something for someone who really appreciates it, I think that's when you get that sense of just, it's, it, you can't even explain it because it's just a great feeling. A big component is the collaboration of like-minded people who come from a variety of backgrounds. There is always strength in numbers. I think it's important to have us all together because us individually, we already do give back, so then us all together, I think we can make a bigger like impact. Which is what brought them here today, part of a lifelong commitment to helping others, even those with a wagging tail. Keith Koblen, SU News.